Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia Zainan, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, as well as the Deputy Heads of the two Councils and the members of the Committee to respond to the Royal Speech. The visitors presented the response of the two councils to His Majesty the King, which addressed His Majesty the King's speech at the opening ceremony of the second session of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty praised the efforts that have been exerted by the legislative authority to perform its constitutional duties of legislation and monitoring, both of which reinforce the country's democratic experience and its legislative code, all of which serve the needs of the citizens. His Majesty thanked the two councils for their important and valuable contributions to Bahrain's comprehensive development plans. He affirmed the importance of pursuing further achievements on regional and international levels in order to serve the country and its people. His Majesty praised the contents of the response to his speech, which included a series of initiatives and suggestions that are meant to improve their legislative and monitoring duties and express pride in the efforts of Bahrainis in the service of the country on all levels. Zainan Anas Saleh expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in developing the democratic experience through his limitless support for the legislative authority. The response to His Majesty the King's speech expressed absolute support for all the contents of the royal speech, which included a range of directives and visions for present and future development plans. Zain al Saleh also praised the achievements of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. They also praised the objectives that have been identified by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which include strategies that are intended to achieve sustainable development, diversifying the country's sources of income as per the Economic Vision 2030. The response to His Majesty the King's speech included a vow to carry on in the path of reform and development and to achieve national unity and coexistence. It also appreciated the efforts of the executive authority by positively interacting with the council's suggestions. It also included the legislative authority looks forward to further cooperation.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace and Secretary General Yasser al Nasser made the following statement. The cabinet commanded the Charter of Gold festivities held under the patronage of His Majesty the King along with the inauguration of the Gold Bank website which reflects His Majesty's dedication to honoring those who have accomplished national achievements. The cabinet reviewed the latest developments on the coronavirus following the first registered case within the kingdom after a Bahraini national tested positive after arriving from Iran via Dubai. The cabinet further reviewed strategies designed to ensure the virus remains contained and decided to temporarily close the Ibn Nafis Primary School for Boys, the Sitra Intermediate School for Girls and Al Qamar Kindergarten in Sitra for a period of 14 days. The cabinet also directed the Sunni and Ja'fari Waqt directorates to raise awareness of preventive practices to combat the spread of the virus and to guide citizens and residents to comply with the measures outlined by health authorities. The cabinet underscored the importance of citizens refraining from traveling to countries that are affected by the virus, including Iran, Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia and South Korea. The cabinet affirmed that Bahraini and GCC citizens and residents who have visited the countries infected within 14 days of arriving in Bahrain will be subject to a quarantine and enhanced testing procedures recommended by the World Health Organization. The cabinet extended congratulations to the Emir government and citizens of Kuwait on the occasion of the 59th Kuwait National Day and 29th anniversary of its liberation. The cabinet commended Kuwait's development and achievements under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah and wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity. The cabinet followed up on the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to expedite the employment of job seekers and newly graduated doctors and to ensure that further medical training is provided to newly graduated doctors. Additionally, in light of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's directives to ensure Bahraini nationals remain the priority within the kingdom's labor market, the cabinet reviewed a joint memorandum submitted by the Minister of Health and Minister of Labor and Social Development on proposals to increase the number of graduate doctors within training programs and to abide by the 20% Bahrainization rate on all medical jobs within the Kino's private sector. The Cabinet referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Financial Balance to submit to the Government's Executive Committee. The Cabinet reviewed a joint memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs to concert road work, sanitation, agriculture, livestock, youth and sports services needed in the village. The Cabinet approved transferring infrastructure and construction projects implemented by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning within two phases. The Cabinet approved an MOU between the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and UAE's General Civil Avi Aviation Authority aimed at enhancing bilateral cooperation and providing air navigation services and systems and support of technical and operational aspects of the systems. The Cabinet also approved an MOU between Bahrain's National Space Agen Science Agency and the Russian Space Agency regarding collaboration on exploration activities and use of outer space for peaceful purposes. The Cabinet reviewed the annual report of the National Committee on the Prohibition of Development, Production, Stockpiling or Use of Chemical Weapons covering the year 2019. The Cabinet took note of a report submitted by the Minister of Education on the Ministry's report on the application of a community service course within the public secondary school's academic, academic curriculum with the aim of consolidating the values of citizenship and nationalism among students through their voluntary work inside and outside of school. The Cabinet further reviewed the Ministry of Health's report on participation at the extraordinary meeting of health ministers of the GCC on the coronavirus disease. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives for Ziyah Zainal and Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh at Qdaybiyya Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain continues to enact strict precautionary measures designed to ensure the continued safety of citizens and residents amid the global outbreak of the coronavirus. He noted that the Ministry of Health is following the highest standards of monitoring to prevent the virus from spreading following the report of the first confirmed case in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness added that preventive efforts require constructive strategic cooperation among the government, citizens and residents, urging all to adhere to the established health guidelines. Zainal al Saleh expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for continually supporting efforts to safeguard the health and well-being of citizens. The meeting was also attended by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry Samir Abdullah Nas, and a number of senior officials. Upon delivering the response to His Majesty the King's speech, which was originally given at the opening ceremony of the second session of the fifth legislative term, Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawzi Yazainal, affirmed that the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa represents the main guideline along which the work of all state institutions will apply and that it will enhance the work of the Council of Representatives as it works toward fulfilling its constitutional duties. Zainal said that the Council is keen on bringing out more achievements by further developing the legal and legislative fields in order to satisfy the needs and aspirations of the citizens and to implement His Majesty the King's comprehensive development plan. Zainal also said that the King's speech represents a road map for the legislative authority as the Council works toward supporting the development of the digital economy and the field of artificial intelligence in cooperation with the executive authority. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend a reception held by the Japanese ambassador to Bahrain, marking Emperor Naruhito's birthday anniversary. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior officials, members of the diplomatic corps, and invitees. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Japanese Emperor, wishing him abundant health and happiness, and to the friendly people of Japan, progress and prosperity. He asserted the strong bilateral relations that are based on mutual respect and understanding under the leadership of both countries. He also noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen on enhancing bilateral cooperation for the best interests of both countries and their peoples. Japan's ambassador to Bahrain, Hideki Ito, praised the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to develop bilateral relations, stressing the solid cooperation ties and common interests of Bahrain and Japan to broaden means of coordination.
The chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority and president of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, an honorary president of the Sanabal Orphans Care Society, patronized the society's annual ceremony, graduating 38 students. Sheikh Salman affirmed the importance of caring for adolescents and all their social groups and the necessity of providing a healthy environment suitable for their success in order to participate in the development process of their society and country. He held the charitable, social and humanitarian work of civil society institutions in Bahrain, which stems from the approach of His Majesty the King. The chairman of the board of directors of the Sanabal Orphans Care Society, Sheikh Adnan al Gattan, said that the society developed the best educational and social support programs to provide all means of success for its members. He also expressed thanks to Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah for patronizing the event and for his continuous support for all the society's development programs. The Ministry of Health confirmed a patient infected with coronavirus arriving from Iran via Dubai has been immediately transferred to the isolation ward at the Ibrahim Khalil Khanu Community Medical Center located in Salmaniya and is receiving further treatment. The ministry highlighted that it has taken all necessary measures to ensure individuals have been in contact with the patient, have undergone testing and precautionary quarantine. The patient arrived in Bahrain with no symptoms at first, but the patient's symptoms appeared a few days later. In line with the established public health procedures, the ministry has contacted all passengers on the same flight for medical testing. The ministry added that the patient, a school bus driver, has worked yesterday dropping off children at two schools, the Ibn Nafis Primary School for Boys and the Sitra Primary School for Girls and Al Qamar Kindergarten. The ministry has contacted the families of students who took the bus and all have been tested to ensure they are free of the coronavirus. The ministry underlined that schools and kindergarten will be closed for two weeks in cooperation with the Ministry of Education as a precautionary measure. The ministry calls upon all citizens and residents who are experiencing symptoms, including high temperature, coughing with difficulty breathing, or those who have traveled or had close contact with anyone who has traveled to countries with high infection rates to isolate themselves at home. Call 444 and follow the instruction given by the medical team. The first edition of the International Carbon Capture, Utilization and Storage ICCUS 2020 conference and exhibition begins tomorrow, which will be held in Saudi Arabia under the patronage of the Saudi Minister of Energy, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman Al Saud, and the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, with the participation of eight, over 800 participants, including senior personalities and ministers of oil and energy from around the world. During the conference, the role of capturing, utilizing and storing carbon on developing global carbon economy will be discussed. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to distribute 5,000 housing units and in light of the Royal Directives, the Assistant Under Secretary for Housing Policies and Services at the Ministry of Housing, Khalid Al Haydan, announced the handover of apartments in Salman Town. This distribution follows the order of His Majesty the King to build 40,000 units. Al Haydan praised the facilities and services of Salman Town, including beaches, parks, walking and cycling paths, public transportation, as well as education and medical services. He described Salman Town as one of the model cities in the kingdom. The Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning announced that, in cooperation with the General Directorate of Traffic at, of the Ministry of Interior and Bahrain Airport Company, will open parts of the new road leading to the Bahrain Airport from Khalif Al Kabir Highway, right turn to Road 2403. This opening will take place from next Friday. All road users are requested to observe and obey the traffic rules for safety of all. <laughs> 